Ever wondered what are the different types of thermocouples and their uses? Well, thermocouples are essential tools in the world of temperature measurement created from two different types of metals. The hot junction between these metal wires forms the thermocouple. To optimize performance, scientists have standardized certain metal combinations leading to eight primary thermocouple types B, E, J, N, K, R, T and S. Each type brings unique properties and applications to the table. Let's dive in and explore each type of thermocouple in more detail. Starting with the B-type thermocouple, it's made of platinum and rhodium. Specifically, it's an alloy combination of platinum with 6% rhodium and platinum with 30% rhodium. This thermocouple can handle a temperature range from 1370 to 1700 degrees Celsius. It's primarily used in applications that require extremely high temperatures, such as glass production. Now, let's talk about the E-type thermocouple. This one is formed from the alloys chromal and constantan. It operates within a temperature range of 0 to 870 degrees Celsius. Unlike the B-type, the E-type thermocouple isn't concerned with oxidation in the atmosphere and can be used in an inert environment. However, they need protection against sulfurous environments. These thermocouples are commonly found in power plants. While B-type thermocouples are used in high temperature applications, E-type thermocouples find their use in power plants. Moving on to the J-type thermocouple, it's formed with iron and constantan. This combination allows for a temperature range that falls between 0 to 760 degrees Celsius. The downside to this low temperature range is that the lifespan of the thermocouple reduces in high temperatures. But don't worry, the J-type thermocouple has its place, shining in vacuum and inert environments. Its most common application? Injection molding. Now, let's shift gears and talk about the K-type thermocouple. Made from chromal and alumel, it can handle temperatures between 95 to 1260 degrees Celsius. It suits a neutral or oxidizing environment best. However, it does have an EMF variation below 1800 degrees Fahrenheit due to hysteresis, limiting its use in inert and oxidizing environments below this temperature. Where do we see them most? In refineries. J-type thermocouples are suitable for vacuum and inert environments, while K-type thermocouples are common in refineries. Next, we have the N-type thermocouple made of nicrosyl and nisyl. This dynamic duo operates within a temperature range of 650 to 1260 degrees Celsius. Thanks to their unique composition, N-type thermocouples are champions in the fight against green rot and hysteresis, making them highly resistant to degradation. Because of this, they're often found in the demanding environments of refineries and petrochemical industries. Moving on, we have the R-type thermocouple. This high roller is a blend of platinum with 13% rhodium and pure platinum. It thrives in temperatures ranging from 870 to 1450 degrees Celsius. While it may be pricier than its S-type counterpart due to its higher rhodium content, its high accuracy and stability make it worth every penny. It's ideally suited for precision tasks in sulfur recovery units. Last but not least, we have the S-type thermocouple. Composed of platinum with 10% rhodium and pure platinum, this thermocouple operates in the high temperature range of 980 to 1450 degrees Celsius. Its ability to endure extreme heat makes it a popular choice across various industries. In summary, N-type thermocouples are resistant to degradation, R-type thermocouples are ideal for high accuracy and stability, and S-type thermocouples are used in high temperature applications. Lastly, we have the T-type thermocouple, which is formed with copper and constantan. This unique combination allows for a temperature range from negative 200 to 370 degrees Celsius. This type of thermocouple is particularly versatile, suitable for both inert atmospheres and vacuums. Now, what sets the T-type thermocouple apart is its resilience. It generally resists decomposition even in a moist environment, making it a reliable choice in various settings. Its robust nature has led to its widespread use in industries such as food production and cryogenics, where precise temperature control is critical. In conclusion, each thermocouple type brings unique properties and advantages to the table. 
The key is to understand these differences and choose the right thermocouple for your specific needs. T-type thermocouples are widely used due to their resistance to decomposition in moist environments. That's all about the different types of thermocouples. Remember, the right thermocouple can make a huge difference in the accuracy of your temperature measurements.